Welcome to part 2 of my Spain blog where I explore Valencia and Sevilla on the second week of my two week Spain trip. If you want to see what I did in Madrid and Barcelona during my first week, I'll link that video in the cards. We took the train from Barcelona to Valencia. It took 2 hours and 45 minutes and cost 52 euros. There was some sort of fire at our original hotel, so we got upgraded to the Palacio Santa Clara autograph collection. The room was beautifully decorated and super comfortable. There was a rooftop pool and the bathroom had two showers. We arrived in the afternoon and we were famished, so we went to Dulce de Leche. I couldn't help but salivate over the overwhelming display of baked goods and treats. I wanted to try everything. I ended up going back three more times during my stay. It was delicious, but a little bit on the decadent side. Walking around Valencia was really fun, and it had a smaller city feel than Barcelona and Madrid, which was a welcome change. We climbed to the top of the Valencia Cathedral Tower, which was really no joke. It was an aggressive and steep spiral staircase that seemed to be never-ending, and we had to take a break midway up. The view from the top was cool, I guess. The next day, we were all super hyped up to check out the aquarium. The mission was 31 euro, but unfortunately, we were all pretty disappointed. The aquarium was overcrowded and the exhibits were just not well kept. I think our group rated it a 2 out of 5. Apparently, you can't visit Valencia without having paella, so that's exactly what we did. <laughs> it's huge! We're at the rooftop pool and it's super hot. Caesar was complaining that it was too hot. Now he says it's too cold. <laughs> On our last day, we checked out Torres de Serranos, which is one of 12 gates that formed the ancient city wall and was built at the end of the 14th century. Then, Caesar and I hopped on some rental bikes once again and explored the nearby park. We rode through it all the way until we ended up back by the subpar aquarium and then continued onwards to the beach. The beach was lovely, but it was really just too hot to enjoy it, so we stepped into a chill restaurant and grabbed a bite to eat. We took a different route back and enjoyed the super wide and protected bike paths. We're off to see the last city on our trip, which is Sevilla, um, currently at the Valencia train station. The train ride to Sevilla took four and a half hours with a stop in Madrid and cost 85 euro. We just got to Sevilla. It's extremely hot here. It's like 36 degrees Celsius and it's also super quiet. I think everyone is inside hiding from the heat. We're just trying to find shade on our way to a Korean restaurant. We stayed at the Hotel Satina, which was quaint and comfortable. It cost $105 a night. We found this cool wooden structure at Plaza Mayor. Check it out. At this point, I was so cathedraled out, but apparently this one was a must-see. Mission was 15 euro, and we had to go up like 40 of these ramps until we got to the top. If you end up going, I would recommend taking the elevator. Just kidding, that wasn't an option. We're going to dinner right now, and there are a hundred times more people up because I guess it's a little bit cooler, but really it's not that much cooler. I think it's just dinner time. On our second day, we explored the Real Alcazar, which is the oldest royal palace that is still being used in Europe. Part of the upper stories are occupied by the Spanish royal family. Apparently, it took 500 years to construct. The gardens of the property contain over 170 plant species and provided food for the palace residents. The coolest thing to me was that part of the gardens and balconies were used for the Doran scenes in the Game of Thrones. It was definitely worth the 1450 euro admission fee. That night, we strolled through Plaza de España. It was built in 1928 for the Ibero-American Exposition and features an impressive mix of Baroque, Renaissance, and Moorish architecture. Look at these cute little pods. Each one is named after a city in Spain. There's so many of them. The footprint of the plaza is a huge semicircle. There are four beautifully tiled bridges over a 515 meter long canal where you can take a romantic boat ride. The bridges themselves represent the four ancient kingdoms of Spain. It's a super balmy Friday afternoon in Sevilla. It's our third and last day and we're about to go check out Casa de Palatos, which is supposed to be very beautiful. Admission was 10 euro, which included a very long-winded, overly detailed, and monotonous audio tour. I tried really hard to pay attention, but after a couple minutes, I just gave up. Because of COVID-19, and also most of the local tourists avoiding the hot weather in Sevilla, we're practically the only tourists here, and it's so nice. Look how empty it is. There's no one here, except for Caesar and Miguel over there. 
couple over there. All of the local people we've met on our trip have questioned our decision to visit Sevilla in the summertime and now we understand why. I probably wouldn't come back in the summertime but the nice part of it is that there are no people. We paid five dollars, five euros, to come up to the top of this wooden art piece structure thing. <laughs> There's no one else on this roof. Is it worth five dollars? Definitely not. It's my last night in Sevilla and I'm heading towards the river right now because I booked a sunset stand-up paddle boarding session through Airbnb experiences and I'm super excited about it because it's my first time trying stand-up paddle board. This is the river. This is so nice. <laughs> I paid $38 for this experience and I would absolutely recommend it. It was super calm and relaxing, yet somehow also physically exhausting. The next day, my thighs felt like I had just done the heaviest squats in my life. It's the last day of my trip and I'm back in Madrid because we're flying out of the Madrid International Airport tomorrow. It's going to be a very early flight and we're heading back to San Francisco, which I'm actually really, really excited about because even though this trip has been such a blast, I feel like two weeks is sort of my maximum before I start just missing my friends and my own bed and my plants and just being home. I also really miss having good Chinese food, so that's probably going to be one of the first meals I have when I get back. But anyways, I just wanted to show you a quick tour of my hotel room because I booked it super last minute, which has kind of been my style for this whole trip. When I was looking at hotels on this strip, Everything was in the $100 to $250 price range for a four-star hotel and I really didn't want to pay that much money but I found this one hotel that was 70 euro which I was skeptical about because it's listed as a four-star hotel but it's way cheaper than everything else. But anyways, I'm actually really happy with the level of cleanliness and comfort and service so I'm going to give you a quick tour of my room right now. The bathroom is right off the entrance on the right, got a nice vanity and a super large shower with um, this waterfall shower head, which has actually been in all of our hotels so far. Um, toilet, bidet, nice full length mirror. And then this is the bed. I think it's a king size bed. And then there's a the little workstation here, which I have no intention of using. And a surprisingly nice view of the street. And a little balcony too. I'm about to eat at this Chinese-Japanese place. I'm super skeptical, but I'm also just really craving Asian food. I think I'm gonna get the fried rice. It's only $4, four euro. Oh my God, I got all of this for five euro and it came in like two minutes. This is actually delicious. I feel like I could go another two weeks of traveling now that I have my Asian food fix. Goodbye Spain, it's been super real. Here's some footage of my flight to my layover in London where I ended up being denied boarding onto my flight back to the US due to some COVID travel restrictions and me not being a US citizen. It was extremely stressful, but luckily I was able to reroute to Vancouver, Canada and spent some quality time with my family. Nos hemos dejado y hemos tratado por ahí un par de 